Hello guys, me Carl Santos, I can't have the car in my five. And I'm gonna revisit a topic that I've dis discussed in September last September and October to be honest with you guys and this is it is about how Henrik Motorsports was affected last September when they got fined a hundred thousand dollars for some you know unknown reason as far as getting an advantage and going to the wind tunnel a few times but I guess their 10 hours of losing wind tunnel time hasn't affected them and the things I said during that video I was wrong I, I may admit I'm wrong and like when I said Alex Bo Bowman was uh, gonna be on fire I didn't believe it at first and then even Chase Elliott I said watch out for him he, he's gonna come up with a championship run and win a, a few races but for Chase Elliott he hasn't won yet but he's been running okay and then Alex Bowman winning the most recent race in, in Dover along with his early race at Richmond a few weeks ago you know and that's those are the bright sides for those drivers. And then William Byron, Byron winning at Homestead Miami, which is a positive sign. And then Kyle Larson, who is in his first year at Henry Motorsports, has won Las Vegas. And and you know what? He's led a bunch of laps. So that's the news that I said, oh, Henry Motorsports losing 10 hours of wind tunnel time. It's going to affect their season. I mean, no. It has not affected their season. I mean, look at this t-shirt right here. I'm wearing a Chase Elliott shirt, you know. I mean, to be honest, I don't want to say Chase Elliott was the, is the worst Andrew Carr performance so far. Even though he's ahead of Alex Bowman in the overall points. But all I can say is how far Andrew Carr's are hitting, hitting on all eight cylinders, you know, and, and to say this, I'm a Hendrick fan, yeah, I'm telling you the truth now, they are a force to be reckoned with, even with 10 hours of losing that wind tunnel time, like I've been asking a few times already, using that same phrase, of saying, oh, man. But when when will there be a point where that 10 hours of wind tunnel time is going to be part once the playoff, playoffs begin? You know, and I think it's either they're peaking too early or peak at the in between. Or, yeah, that's what I think. But. To be honest, to give a fair assessment of this topic I brought up last September about the 10 hours of losing wind tunnel, I think they're handling it very well with these young drivers, you know. Rick Hendrick knows what he's doing. He's putting the right people in, per in place. And then, and then, ever since the 10 hours of wind tunnel time, happened to them they've made some big staff shufflings like put Chad Kinnas as a or is he a vice president of a competition and then they put Rudy Fugel with William Byron as the crew chief for that 2014 and they put Alex well Alex Bowman had the 88 now he's in the I mean, he has the 48 Allen Chevy, but still the great guys, and then, and then they brought Kyle Larson in to be paired up with Cliff Daniels as crew chief, so, but the only thing that hasn't changed is Chase Elliott and Allen Gustafson of the 19, so, so I know you Hendrick fans are happy that this 10 hours of when tunnel time has an effect on them because 
all or most teams are affected by the COVID restrictions. So yeah, you can't bring a bunch of guys or engineers to get this rate these race cars a lot better as as the summer goes on, but I believe in myself and try to present both sides of the issues of the pros of how this happened versus the cons, but I kind of brought most of those issues up, but hey, I don't want to put too effort on myself and say, oh, if I wasn't a Hendrick fan, I would have not known this story, but basically that's just all I have to say, so if you like this video so much, give a thumbs up button, if you want to subscribe for more content or notifications, click on the bell button, and then if you want to to share a comment below the description, share your thoughts and feelings that others in the community say they all feel welcome. So, make a happy current life hack. Y'all have a great day. Peace out.